I'm Vinu Keller. Welcome to Vinu Inspires. It's time to give your children a childhood they won't have to heal from. Good morning and welcome to Wednesday Wisdom with Vinu Keller. Today I was going to talk about co-parenting. I once was a, well, I still am an ex to my husband and we had children together. And now I have, I'm married to my husband who has an ex, who's the mother of his children. So I've been at both sides of the coin with this. And what I have found out through the experience of having the communication with my ex-husband about our children and having or being a part of the communication with my husband and his ex is that how much hurt people hurt people. And sometimes the kids get in the middle of it. And so I'm speaking from experience and I'm going to be vulnerable here because I feel like that is the only way to help people learn through the mistakes that we make. When my children were younger and my ex-husband had remarried, I was so afraid that when my kids would go to his house, that they would choose him and his wife over me because I was a single mom. And in my mind, I had already created the story that kids want a family unit. And at that moment, I could not give that to them. And so I said things out of hurt. I said things out of fear. So it was really out of the fear that I would say things that were not kind. I would create this behavior that was not becoming of me at the time because I was so afraid that I would lose my children. I would lose their love. I would lose their want to be with me. And here's the truth. That didn't happen. My kids would never choose another mom over me. And it took me going through that experience to realize that that was never going to happen. I watched the love that my husband has for his daughters over the last 12 years we've been together. And I've never seen a man more dedicated to his children and making the efforts to be a part of their lives. And I've seen both sides where the kids have been put in the middle, sometimes directly and sometimes indirectly. And I've watched what it has done to the kids and the hurt that they have felt. So I share this with you because if we know better, we can do better. So here are some things that we can do better. So if you are co-parenting, if you have, you know, someone in your life that's helping you raise your children that are not theirs, there's sometimes, you know, issues with that too, because we have different ways of raising our kids. And to be honest, I don't know what my boundaries are sometimes of, you know, where to step and where not to step because they're not my kids. And we do have different ways that we see things that we think are right for the kids versus what is not right for the kids. You know, it could be how long they're on their phones or their electronics at night. It could be how long, you know, they're, they're staying up at night and not getting enough sleep. We could have different views about that. And so where, where again, is those boundaries that we can cross as the step parent or the partner that's involved in raising these kids. So the first thing is, is remember that it is not about us, the adults. It's not about who's right or wrong. It's not about who's in control. It's really about what are the needs of the kids? You know, when my kids were growing up and my hus- my ex-husband had moved back to the vicinity of where I live, we did have a court order where he would get the kids every other weekend. But by the time he moved back, my boys were older and they wanted to see their dad all the time. So I didn't care about the court order. I let them go. I let them go as often as they wanted to, because that's what they needed in that moment. And by then I had done some growing up. So I wasn't so adamant about, nope, this is a court order. You're going to stick to it because it gave me control, which made me feel safe that I wasn't going to lose my kids. And again, as I knew better, I did better. And the fact that I was so open with allowing my kids to go to their dads as much as they wanted while he was here, really showed my kids, number one, that I love them enough to allow them to go and be with their dad because that's what they wanted. 
they wanted, they were yearning for that relationship with their father for so long. So they knew that by me saying, Hey, I don't care if it's a court order, you go that allowed them to know that I supported that relationship, that I wanted to nurture their relationship with their father. And I stopped putting the boys in between us. I communicated straight with my ex-husband when I was able to. And here's another tip. If you cannot communicate verbally with your ex, because for whatever reason, there's still contention between your, your relationship, even though there should be a very good co-parenting relationship, email, email each other, you send it through email because emotions and tonality are not seen in the emails or text messages. I mean, someone can perceive them to be in there. I think we all do at times. And yet we can ask questions to clarify and verify what specifically that person is saying or the reason behind it. Don't think this is about you having to win. There is no winners here. The best we can do for our kids is show up as a family front. That is co-parenting. It's parenting together. Co is together. You don't have to be together and live together and be in a relationship together to parent your children in a healthy way that meets their needs to know that they are loved. If we really want to give our kids a childhood they won't have to heal from, it really starts with how are our kids viewing our communication with each other, whether we're divorced or whether we're together? How are they seeing that we are on the same page, that we are a parental front that puts boundaries around these kids? Because remember, boundaries are what keeps our kids safe. And as much as they want to fight against the boundaries because they think we're being too strict or overprotective, when you Tell your kids that if I didn't care, I would let you do whatever. It's the fact that I care that I put these boundaries around you. So what boundaries are you putting around your relationship with your ex? Is it possible you could help each other be better parents to raise these children in a way that they feel safe, loved, heard, and they can trust both of you? So these are just a couple tips if you are co-parenting, how to work together. There's one more tip I'd like to give when you're looking at if you're a partner or, you know, the stepmom or stepdad and you're coming into a relationship and you're asking about where the boundaries are. This is where communication comes from. Ask your partner, you know, this is what I see. This is why I feel that it's detrimental to the child if they're not getting enough sleep per se, if we're talking about that. Help them understand your why first before you step over that boundary to correct the child. You know, in our household, again, my husband and I've been together for over 12 years. And so, you know, our our six kids have now meshed, you know, my two, his two, and then we have twins together. And we definitely have a solid way of communicating. And I'm definitely more rigid and more strict and have more rules and boundaries than he does. And yet we have found a way to communicate together. So it's not we're against each other. We are for each other and we're for the greater good of our kid, all of our kids. So when you ask yourself, what is your outcome? What is your outcome when you're co-parenting with an ex? What is your outcome when you're co-parenting with a step parent? What is the outcome? If the outcome is to create a safe and trusting space, where your kids feel that it's an open place where they can feel loved and non-judged, then these tips will definitely help you. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you next Wednesday.